Welcome back, fishing fam. The Humminbird Solix has tons of features for us bass anglers. And as a fellow bass angler, I want to share with you some of the most helpful features on the Humminbird Solix. The ability to separate contrast and sensitivity settings on Humminbird units is one of the main reasons why I went with Humminbird. This gives me even more control over my image so I can make sure that I don't miss anything that is below the boat. If you're more curious about how I tune my fish finders to get the very best image below the boat, make sure you check out this video and the cards above about if you're struggling with down imaging. I go over a full tutorial there and I will show you everything that I know about tuning your Humminbird unit. So typically when you use a heading sensor, you'll have that mounted at the back of the boat. And for most units, you're not able to separate the GPS point that's associated with that heading sensor and the actual heading of your boat. But with the Humminbird Solix, you have the option to choose which one you want to use. You can use the heading sensor and a GPS point that's somewhere else in the boat, whether it's another unit or the unit that you're using. This becomes especially useful when you're on the bow of the boat hunting down a specific little bitty brush pile that always holds about a dozen good crappie. This allows you to use the GPS point of the fish finder at the bow of the boat while using the heading sensor that is at the back of the boat. This allows you to know the exact heading of your boat. That way you can pinpoint where you're going to be in the next few minutes. This makes it really easy to find any waypoint that you have on your fish finder. If you're enjoying this video, make sure you leave it a like. And if you like fishing electronics content like this one, make sure that you subscribe to the channel because I'm gonna be pumping out a lot of videos very similar to this one to give you guys all sorts of advantages when it comes to your fishing electronics. The Humminbird Solix has a touch screen, which is also flat, which this gives it a kind of a two for one special here. The flat screen allows it to be really easy to clean. You don't have any corners that you have to dig into. It also makes it easy for the touch screen to operate. My previous fish finder had a little lip here and it made it really hard to select things that were in the corner and it was even harder to clean. Also, it being a touch screen allows you to move through menus even faster. It also allows you to select things in the middle of the screen faster, like creating waypoints on specific brush piles or rock piles that you find out in the lake. This makes everything more streamlined, saving you time out on the water. So on any big fishing day, whether it's a big fishing trip or you're fishing a tournament, being able to manage your waypoints easily and effectively is critically important on all those days. The Humminbird Solix does have a few features in this regard. Being able to label every waypoint is you know, not anything new, but hey, it's nice to still have that. You have different symbols to use for those waypoints. There's tons of symbols, flag, rocks, uh, grass, lay down things, trees. There's tons of different labels in here that you can use to identify any piece of structure quickly. Also, you can apply colors to those uh, to help you distinguish between maybe uh, deep and shallow waypoints or however you wanna do it, you can do uh, different colors for different types of structure. Many different ways to manage your waypoints on here. One thing I haven't talked about is the groups. Uh, you're able to group your waypoints together. It is not exactly a user-friendly process. If you're starting with a brand new Solix, I can show you guys how to do that to start off with. If you're doing it afterward, I will have to make a whole new video on that because uh, that process is well overwhelming and it's not extremely user friendly. But one good thing about the Humminbird Solix is that they do make it super easy to export your waypoints. You can specifically e export groups or you can export all your nav data. If you have it in groups and hey, you wanna share a specific set of waypoints with a buddy of yours. You can export that as a GPX file, boom, send it on over to him, and then he has a copy of those waypoints as well. Now, I don't know how many of you guys really like to share your waypoints with your buddies, but if you do, hey, the option's there. 
So while I'm thinking about it, which one of the features have I talked about so far in this video would you like me to make a more detailed video on? Well, I uh, totally lost a whole section of this video while recording, so here we go. Map sharing is also a helpful feature from the Hummingbird Solix. Being able to share a Lake Master map to all your Hummingbird units saves you a lot of money on map cards, as well being able to navigate from any of the network units. One of my favorite features is following the contour, being able to follow a depth pattern along a shoreline or along a point is awesome. And being able to do that with one map card is great. By the way, this is a part of my Solix series. So if you wanna check out more of my Solix videos, make sure you check that playlist out here. Also, if you're just binging on fishing electronics videos, I have a playlist of those here. But until next time, see you later, fishing fam.